Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate Class of 24. Today we are looking at Caden Jones, one of the big time linebackers in the class. He ain't playing no games. He is 6'3 and a half, 205 pounds, goes to Christ School in Arden, North Carolina. He is a four star according to the On3 Industry Rankings, is the number two best player in the state of North Carolina, and the 17th best linebacker in the country. As you can see, Caden decided to take his talents to Tuscaloosa and roll with the tide. The recruiting prediction machine had him at 91.1% and they hit this one right on the head. Caden Jones, you got some big time shoes to fill when it comes to the linebacker position at Alabama. We gonna see what you all about and we about to break this thing down. You about to get WRE, my man, and rank. Let's get it, Bama style. All right, let's get this film jumping. There we go. Starting this thing off with special team. You know, that's coach specialty. Let's go. Little pooch kick. Let's go. Can seven take this thing for six? We got some good speed on him, boy. It's a tight sideline, boy. <laughs> I figure, you know, Christ school might be, a, you know, of course, a, a Christian a private school, probably relatively small. There we go, coming off the edge. Oh, a little drop back pass. Oh, great athleticism. Loving it. Showing the little zone blitz look. Falls in, reading the eyes of the quarterback. Great job right there, man. Didn't catch the ball, but hey, great. I'm glad you put on your highlight. Mm. That's how you go in there and read that thing. Make that tackle, man. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, relentless pursuit to the ball. Let's check it out, right? Let's go see how he gets to this football. Look where he's coming from. Great dip right there, great technique. Watch this, he's gonna come in there, he's gonna dip right up underneath. I always tell people, subtle moves in football make big differences. And it goes to show you his relentless pursuit to the ball. Tackled him with violence too. Good job. All right, come up. Uh, oh, come on, Katie. We got to make these tackles now. I mean, you played it perfectly. We just got to finish it off with a legit tackle. I know he went down, but let's tackle the guy. There you go, mixing it up. Come on, man. You got to get in here on these tackles, baby. Hey, good job. I, I need some tackling now. That's two in a row. All right, let's talk about this little pass coverage. I'm glad this happened. All right, this right here is what we call bad eyes. Okay, he's looking in the backfield. I always tell people outside linebackers take care of outside stuff. Inside linebackers take care of inside stuff. When you're dealing with offenses like this with a lot of misdirection, you have to be disciplined with your eyes. Watch, he's gonna get caught right here for a second looking in the backfield, thinking it happens here, this guy slips out. That's exactly what they want. If this is college, this is big time beat. All right, but because of his athleticism, he catches up in his speed. All right, so we gotta be a little bit more disciplined with our eyes, but great way to come back, great way to finish the play, man. Yeah, he just got a knack for, uh, now that's a tackle, baby. That's what I'm talking about. When you tackle a dude, you do it violently and you do it well, but you got to do it consistently. Remember, next level, you talking about SEC ball? The running backs ain't playing. They run through that crap. Ugh. All right, technique a little bit. Let's talk about it. A little scrape action. I love the way you finished it, but you got caught on top of this play, right? Knowing that he's going to cut it back, you have to be able, remember, you have to take care of your job. Batman doesn't save nothing but Gotham. He don't go to Miami. He stays in Gotham. So what do I mean by that? Stay in Gotham. Stay in your house. Once it's clean, then you can go help out the Avengers. I guess I'm right. But anyway, stay here. You got too far on top of this block right here. Next level, you done for. Running back is gone. You got to hope the safety of the corner make this play. But you do a great athletic job of spinning around out of that and tackling him with violence. Loving it. Mm. 
All right, little coverage. Uh, okay. Oh, I ski. We got a little pick in the building. Good job, man. Hey, you playing coverage out there. Let's go. Little, little edge rushing. Come on. All right, let's talk about it. Come on, Kaden. It's a little technique that we got to work on here. I mean, you super athletic. You'll get a down block here by this wing guy. Perfect. But look what you do. You never close ground. You're going to stay right on this white line. That means you make a lateral move. You never take a 45 degree to close ground, right? So now that you do that, you're kind of out of position and your shoulders change. Let's fix it. Watch this. Close ground. Keep your shoulders squared up because why? Not only for the cutback, but if the quarterback pulls it, you are in position to make a play. Now, because you're better athletically, you go in there and he gets tugged on the back right there by 34. So we got to work on some of that lateral technique, closing ground. ABC, always be closing. Good feel. There you go. Mm. I, when you tackle, you tackle, baby. There you go. Good pass coverage right there. Great job. Not creating a uh, pass interference using the offhand. Filling the screen. Come on. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's scrappy. Okay, but you get through there, and it's because you're high. You nip through there. You got to fight through there. This little dude, number eight, he ain't got a chance with you, bro. You 6'4", 205. You should be, man, knocking him to sleep. All right? But look at the scrappiness in you. That's what I like about you. you got a lot of scrappiness in you. Mm. Yes, sir. This is the best play on your highlight. Playing with an integrity. You here, run through this guy. This guy got outside force. You got the inside. Boom, blow him off the, off the block. You inside, he outside. Perfect. Now that's how you play it. That's perfect. Come on, where you at? Huh. Let's go. I lost you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I gotta find it. It's hard to tell where they you oh standing up at the top. Okay. Again, feeling it, pursuing to the ball, getting to the football. Look at that violent tackle. Man, I'm done with it, man. Let's get into your rankings. Kaden, I can tell right now you're the best player on the football field on any given Friday night for Christ School. Size, gold chip, six three and a half. Hey, six four, two oh five. You got the height. Got to get that bulk in there, baby. But you're right on par for outside linebacker, wheel backer at the Power Five level. Speed, gold chip. You do a great job getting to the football. You show great start and stop. Right, your burst is great. Your ten yard shuttle got to be killer. Effort. Blue chip. Let me tell you this, man. I see you fighting, fighting, fighting. You are a scrappy dude. You are giving 10,000% effort. And I know that your team is on your back come Friday night. Fundamentals and technique, silver chip. There's a couple of things in here you're definitely gonna have to learn when it comes to the run game. You do a great job getting to the ball, but it's how you get to the football. You gotta learn how to share the blocks. Play recognition is huge. Like I said, your effort, blue chip, no issue but it's how you get there. When you get to that next level, these boys are bigger, faster, and stronger, and you can't just power through these guys. Also, when it comes to tackling, when you hit them, you hit them, and you do a great job, but when you don't, and you kind of scrappy at it, yeah, not so much. So you gotta be more consistent when it comes to that. Intangibles, gold chip. Like I say, you right on par for power five, nothing really steps out. I would love to see you like I said, maybe get more interceptions. And if you don't because of who you're playing, that's fine. Let's strip at the ball. Let's get the ball out of there. Let's create turnovers. Make that a habit. Do things that coaches necessarily can't coach. And it just becomes a habit. And you just become a turnover machine. Overall, Kanan Jones, you are a gold chip athlete when it comes to Coach Hayes football. When you get to Tuscaloosa, they're going to be super excited about getting you. Just focus on those things. And the sky's the limit, my man. If you are an Alabama fan, I need you to say roll tide while you hit that subscribe button right there and notification bell so you will have all the latest content that comes on this channel. Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50 yard line. Peace.